series that focuses on courtyards and different intersection points so, uh, that basically looks at the idea of what memory and nostalgia is uh, with its intersections uh, with science fiction and personal histories. Um, I do have a love of particular courtyard spaces based on uh, my childhood uh, growing up in Belgium and in London. Uh, in between that, my parents used to take me back to Pakistan um, and I got familiar with particular types of courtyard spaces there as opposed to very urban European spaces within the urban, um, or within a city fabric. Um, for me, there are particular courtyard spaces that do stand out. Uh, one is the Alhambra um, in Spain, um, the Grand Place in Brussels, uh, where I grew up for about seven, eight years, and particular mosque complexes when I used to go back to Pakistan. And for me, the play on public and private spaces was critical in the work in terms of choosing a particular sacred space as the center of a courtyard where the tombs are represented. Um, and that idea was not so much as any particular tomb, but the idea of impermanence and transformation. And that is also where the symbols fall into play, where one of the symbols, um, the cube and the cross, actually focus on this idea of transformation and impermanence, where the cube is a particular geometry its symbolic meaning in terms of its universal connections and in particular with this in terms of its Islamic iconography. But for me it wasn't so much in terms of the Islamic symbol as something where a geometry appeals to a particular mass of people or a particular community. And that cube geometrically when, is, when it is unfolded becomes the, the form that is this particular one that is the cross. Um, um, this particular form uh, does repeat itself in the vocabulary that I draw with. And for me, the idea of impermanence and transformation does come about with the idea of what physics can do. Uh, things deconstruct and then reconstruct themselves. There are things that are breaking away, explosions and smoke sort of the language of change and, um, and sort of disruption in a way. But it's always done with the idea of things or materials reconstructing themselves. And the symbol of the cube, which I really wanted to play around with, was one where it, it has this iconic like image, um, both in terms of Islam and also in terms of a very simple geometry. And it was the through the power of what a simple geometric form can become, which is what I wanted to play around with. And the cubes, basically, for me, I wanted to see how I could sort of break that symbol open, or there are multiple forms coming out of a particular symbol. And there's smoke, there's explosions, and it sort of goes in to the realm of science fiction, which is, I like the idea of utopian drawings, courtyard spaces, and the intersection of science fiction with that.